What's up guys? Back out here on the road. I just got to my terminal um, back from my home time. It's 7, 12 at night. So getting back kind of late, but that's okay. Um, I got all my groceries already, so I'm just about to take my groceries to my truck and then uh, just chill out for the rest of the night. I might watch a movie uh, or a couple episodes of the show. I'm not sure. Might skate around for a little bit. I don't know, but we back out here. Like I said in the previous video, I have to pick up a load in Pennsylvania and I have to drop it off in Massachusetts. So that's what we're gonna do. The load that I'm supposed to pick up tomorrow, I think I'm gonna pick it up at like eight in the morning. I, I, it's no, I have a, I can pick it up between eight in the morning and three in the afternoon, but I just like to pick up my loads a little early to get them out the way. You know, I just like to do everything as early as possible. So I'm gonna pick the load up at, at eight in the morning and I'm most likely gonna park up in Connecticut tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's most likely the plan, but I'm picking up at a Procter & Gamble. So it's probably gonna be detergent or, yeah, it's most likely gonna be detergent, if I had to guess what I was picking up. So, yeah, that's the plan. Guys, it is a hot mess in the back of my car. Like, do you guys, do you guys see how messy my trunk is? I went shopping, so got a few clothes, picked up some vans, but man, do you guys see this, bro? I'm gonna be showing you guys what I um what I eat in my semi truck, by the way, like the food that I make. You guys are gonna see that in this video. Oh my god, this is crazy, though. Vita. Oh, my Lord. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my truck a little bit more closer. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna move my truck a little bit closer to the parking lot so that I don't have to walk all the way across the lot. about to fix me some food and chill out but I want to show you guys what I'm fixing tonight tonight I'm finna make some mac and cheese and I'm finna make it with some chicken tenders yeah, they're plant-based, but they're still really good. As you guys can see, I have a whole bunch of rice up there. If you guys want to see like a truck tour, I can do like a truck tour. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I feel like with my truck, there's not really much to see. You guys already see like pretty much everything. If you guys know, you know <laughs> why all those bottles are down there. Oh, you nasty. Why is that already on? You 
Usually I take about like four. So I think eight comes in a pack, so I'll just take four each meal I have. And I'll heat it up at 400 degrees and I'll do it for 14 minutes. All right guys, so my tenders are done. As you guys can see, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. So I'm gonna grab a fork. Yeah, that's what they looks like right now. Uh, and I would uh, grab some, uh, this sauce right here is really good. I really uh, recommend it, guys. Buffalo Ranch, it's a mixture of buffalo and ranch. It's very good, guys. I'm telling you, man. So I'll just put that on there like that. mac and cheese I usually like like to grab it by the top shake it like that so that I make sure all the cheese goes to the bottom and shake it and I'll get a, a pair of scissors and I'll just cut just like that boom and I'll put this, put the packet to like the side or something, and put it right here. And then you guys want to get some water. Fill it up to the line. I'll probably put too much. <laughs> I'll probably put too much. That's okay though. Now, and then you want to heat it up for three and a half minutes. Ooh, look at all that steam. Sheesh. That's a lot of steam, huh? It's a lot of steam, but yeah. Then, I'm gonna grab the cheese, and then put it right here, put it right on top. Just like that. Just like that. And we're gonna mix it up, and then after we mix up, the cheese with the mac, uh, with the pasta or whatever, or the shells, we're going to put it on the plate. Just yeah. so mix it. Make sure it's mixed up good. I mean, you could just let it settle, honestly, because the longer it sits, the um, it's not as watery. Like right now, it's very like watery and runny, but the longer it sits, it's not as watery. 
But yeah, now just pour it onto the plate. Actually, mix it a little bit more. Now you just pour it onto the plate. Now you have chicken tenders and mac and cheese. Like guys, does, does that not look good or what? Granted, it's not it's not a typical home meal, but like, come on now, for for you, for making something out of a semi truck, that's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. yeah that's what we're gonna eat and uh i'm about to go to sleep after i eat that and uh, i should catch you guys in the morning good morning guys it's 11 30 in the morning it is the next day um yes i know i said i was gonna pick the load up at eight in the morning but i'm not hooked up to an empty trailer right now and they didn't send me they didn't dispatch me to a location to pick up an empty trailer until about like 10 o'clock so and i was still sleeping so um yeah that's where you're gonna go right now and that's that's why i'm running behind schedule right now technically i'm not but for my standards i am but uh like i said yesterday i don't have to pick this load up the latest i can pick it up is three so I'm still straight, you know, I still have nothing to worry about. I'm still on time, technically, and I'm still at the, going at the right pace. So we're going to pick this empty trailer up, and then we're going to shoot over to pick the load up. But first, but first, you guys know, I have to get a frap. Guys, I, I have to get my frap, guys. I have to. I got to do it. I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I have an opportunity to get one, I'm gonna get one. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that, man. It's hot. Hey guys, how you guys doing, man? Uh? Ah, oh, man, I had a good four days off. Back out on the road. Ready to grind again. Alright. So after I picked this load up, I, I said I was going to shoot over to Connecticut, but honestly, I don't even know if I'm doing it anymore because it's already kind of late. By the time I end up in Connecticut, it's probably going to be, I don't know, like four or three in the afternoon, maybe even five. So yeah, I don't think that's happening. I think I'm just going to shoot right back over here to the terminal, sleep here, and then, then I'll have to just start extra early. Cause I gotta drop this load off at 6.30 in the morning, man. So, definitely gonna be driving during the night time. I mean, I might have to start at the usual time, at my usual time, honestly. Like, I usually start around like two in the morning, two, three, yeah. 
So I think I should be fine if I start at like two. I don't think I necessarily have to start at like midnight exactly, you know? I gotta get my frog, y'all. <laughs> I gotta get my frog. Ah, oh, I'm low-key addicted, guys. Someone please help. Somebody, please. Help is needed. Help, it is needed, man. Just keep frapping, just keep frapping. <laughs> He definitely could have filled this up a little bit more. He kind of ripped me off. Because you see how... Look at that. You see how much space is left up here, bro? Like, he just finessed, man. Hmm. It's still good, though. Alright. Let's go pick up this empty.
think this is the right location. I'm not too sure. If this ain't it, it's gotta be the building that's across from here, because there is another building across the street from here. But I'm gonna check this place first, because I feel like this is a, a better, uh, I got a better feeling about this location. Hi, right. I'm here to pick up an empty trailer for Swift. Okay. Um, you don't. Would you need paperwork for that? Okay, no. Right. Mm -mm. Okay. Do you know which trailer it is? Yeah. 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 It's just gotta be. It's gotta be this location. They took the load off me. Apparently, I don't know why they did that. The load that I was supposed to be picking up. Who knows, they might dispatch it to me again after I pick up this empty trailer, but I don't know. I hope so. Let's see. I'm not seeing any uh, empty Swifts. Uh, I am not seeing any Swift trailers. Is it right here? This is probably it. Yeah, I think that's it. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. All right. So we're gonna hook up to it. And then, like I said, hopefully they dispatch it to me again. Don't, then I don't know. how the grommets usually like it's usually my red one my emergency grommet that doesn't like to cooperate for some reason yeah, it's kind of messed up see it's not even
Okay. So guys, I'm gonna check the tire pressure now. Ooh, this doesn't look too good. I don't like how that's looking. It's not flat though. So guys, that whole time I was skating, they still didn't dispatch anything to me, man. They still didn't dispatch the load that they took off me just now. Um, I checked the messages. I think they took it off because uh, they thought it was going to be late. Um, it wasn't going to be late. I was going to be on time for it, but I guess they wanted to play it safe. But um, yeah, I'm still not currently dispatched or anything. So I think I'm going to park up for the night, man. And uh yeah i guess that's that now i wanted to get this load done i really wanted to do that massachusetts load but i don't know i guess i'll have to see where they're gonna send me now um but as of right now yeah i'm not i'm not dispatched or anything so uh looks like i might be heading back to the terminal because i definitely got a shower today all right guys so i'm driving back to the terminal now and uh, today, honestly, was a wasted day. I feel like a lot of times, the first day I come back from my home time, it's literally a wasted day. Last time I came back from my home time, I didn't work for like two days because I, my truck was in the shop. So it was like, I came back just to not work for two days. You know what I'm saying? I could have just stayed home for a lot, you know? <laughs> Granted, I could have gotten into a loaner truck, but I don't like using loaners because um, I just don't like using them. I just like using my truck, you know? So, yeah, but today was a wasted day, man. 
But like I said, I was really looking forward to doing that load too, man. But it is what it is. Hopefully I get some tomorrow. I'm good? Okay. But um Yeah guys. Sorry, sorry this video or sorry today was just horrible. You know. It's really out of my control. I wanna talk to you guys about and give you guys a few uh, suggestions on uh, what you guys can eat in your semi truck so um usually what i do is i have an air fryer as you guys saw last night i have an air fryer and i have a microwave so the things that you can make well the things that these are my go-to's chicken tenders chicken nuggets mac and cheese noodles um breakfast sandwiches um, uh, regular sandwiches, uh, you can make oatmeal, you can make cereal, you can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you can make, what else can you make? You can make french fries, right now I have checkers fries, I'm trying them out for the first time, um, but I usually get Arby's curly fries, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit, but there's a lot of stuff you can make in your truck, guys. You can make pancakes. There's microwavable pancakes that you can make. Just make sure you have syrup, of course. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of stuff that you can make, man. Just gotta, just gotta make sure you have an air fryer and a microwave, and you can do so much. And I already know. I'm gonna answer this question now before I get hit with it, because uh, I know it's coming eventually. I know it's gonna be some person or somebody that asks me if. I can be their mentor okay now hear me out now I don't mind being a mentor but my thing is I don't I don't want to mentor somebody that I don't know you know that's just my rule like if I don't know you personally I'm not gonna mentor you because I wouldn't want to live would you want to live would you want to live with a complete stranger for a month no I, I don't think you would so like you know it's like literally you're inviting a stranger into your house <laughs> so uh, yeah I don't know I can't I can't see myself doing that but my YouTube videos in a way is me mentoring you you know so if you have any questions feel free to ask me and I'll answer them you know in the comments or whatever the case may be but as far as me mentoring, like, ah man, if I if you guys ever see me mentoring someone and like teaching them in my truck, it's because I know that person in real life. Either I like I went to school with them, or I grew up with them, or a close friend, or uh, yeah, well, it's just one of those three things. That's the only times you guys are ever gonna see me mentoring somebody in my truck. So if I know you personally, and we cool, and we real close, and you want to start truck driving, and you want me to mentor you, I, I'll I'll be I'll be, I'll be happy to do that. You know, so just let me know. You can request me if you end up coming to my company. That's the only way you're gonna I'm gonna be able to mentor you. But if you end up coming to my company. You can request me through my driver code and uh, we can make that happen. So just just let me know and uh, yeah. Which I gotta make sure y'all get y'all permits first. If y'all don't already have your CDL permit. Now as far as getting your CDL permit goes, it's not that hard. Um, there's three there's three tests that you have to take. Okay, you gotta pass your um, your general knowledge test. You gotta pass an air brakes test, and you gotta pass a combination vehicles test. Those are the three tests that you have to pass in order to get your permit for your Class A CDL. All right. And then after you get your permit, then 
you go to school through Swift, okay? You go to school through Swift, and um, which I'm gonna call it. Which I'm gonna call it. Yeah, you go to school through Swift. It's gonna be two weeks. Um, I went to the Kansas City School. This, that school is really good. Um, they'll put you in a nice hotel. You know what I'm saying? You might have to save up a little bit of money because yeah, they do pay you at, uh, for orientation, but it's not a lot. And um, yeah, I think they just pay. I, I don't remember how they how much they uh, pay you, but it's not a lot. So just make sure before you come to uh, to school with Swift, make sure you got a little bit of money saved to last you at least two weeks. You know, so um, so that you don't have to struggle. You know. Um, now, as far as I feel like this has to be a whole another separate video, as far as me helping you guys with like the pre-trip inspection and stuff like that, that's a whole separate video. But that's going to be the hardest part of your road, your road test, no doubt, is the pre-trip inspection. Because there's a lot of parts on this truck that you have to remember. And granted, they might not even give you the whole truck. Me personally, I, I got the whole truck. I had got the whole truck and I took the test two times and I failed it once but the first time I failed it I didn't go was before I went to um yeah the first time I failed it was before I even went to Swift school or Swift Academy because my dad was um my dad was paying for this other program and they were helping me and I had got scheduled a road test with them and uh, they they weren't that good be completely honest with you they weren't that good which is why I failed the first time um, so but when I did fail that test I did pass my pre-trip inspection part of the test easy first try I passed the pre-trip inspection part I but I failed on the alley dock not alley dock um, on a parallel parking because they teach you how to do a straight back they teach you how to do a uh, alley dock they teach you how to do an offset and they teach you how to do a parallel parking those are the four parking maneuvers that you're gonna uh, learn at school now straight backing is easy offsetting easy um, the two more the two ones that you want to slip up on is the alley docking and the parallel parking but I kind of think that parallel parking is harder than alley docking that's just my that's just what I think personally you know what I'm saying? Because alley docking, it's kind of like you freestyling it. You kind of like turning the steering wheel, and it's not really a technique. It's not really a technique to it. Parallel parking, you gotta, it's, you kind of gotta be precise. You gotta like turn the steering wheel at, at the right times. You know, um, what alley docking? It's kind of like you freestyling it. You know, there's no right or wrong way, or there's no technique really to alley docking. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of YouTube videos showing you guys how to, you know, do those maneuvers. But if you guys want a whole separate video on that, on the pre-trip part, I'll be, I'll be glad to make a whole video on that. Um, but yeah, once you once you pass your road test, this is two weeks. Once you pass that, and you in with Swift, man. The school is good. I'm telling you, it's really good. They go all they really gonna teach you though is how to how to pass the test. They're not really gonna teach you anything else after that. Everything else after that you have to learn through your mentor and you have to learn through personal experience. But um as far as uh the pre-trip goes, like I was saying, they're most likely not gonna give you the whole truck, but it's best to study hard and memorize the whole truck just in case they hit you with the whole truck because there's three different parts um part a is like the um the engine like the under the hood like all the parts under the hood and the front of the truck that's part a part b is like the side of the truck and the um, the coupling and the uncoupling you know what i'm saying that's part b part c is the trailer just the trailer alone that's part c now, if they give you the whole truck, you got to do, obviously, the whole truck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, I got unlucky. Both times I took my test, 
and I got the whole truck. And I, and I ended up passing both times, they gave me the whole truck. So that just goes to show you that, you know, I knew what I was doing as far as studying the pre-trip inspection. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. You just gotta study really hard and you gotta come up with your own studying plan and just really study like as if those parts read those parts like if if there's a video that you're watching watch that like it's the bible that's literally what you have to do that's literally your bible <laughs> i'm telling you guys when i tell you when i when i was studying i studied as soon as i woke up and i studied in basically until i went to sleep bro i'm not even kidding so you just really gotta memorize it like and know it like the back of your hand man i'm telling you i'm telling you listen to those videos in your sleep bro literally until they're engraved in your head yeah i'm in maryland now guys do you guys see what these bugs are doing to my windshield man like that's how you know it's starting to get really nice outside when the bugs start to come out and they all just start flying right into your windshield, bro. Yep, come on, come on, come on. It's not looking too good. <laughs> From what I can see right now, it's not looking good at all, guys. I just drove here for no reason. Uh, it's so hot, bro. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any parking spots, bro. Uh, it's very very busy in this truck stop. There's Bob's Hill. Why why are people parked like this? Dude, like what? Wow. Okay guys, so uh, it's looking like, it's looking like as of right now, I'm gonna have to park at the terminal, man. Because it's way too late and this, this, this truck stop is full. This is why I tell you guys, try to park up by at least three or two o'clock in the afternoon, guys. At least three or two. I know some of you guys don't believe me when I say that four is very late as far as like parking goes. It is. <laughs> if you're a truck driver, it is. Man, now I gotta wait for this guy. Guys, this drink right here, it is so good. Like my girlfriend put me on. She puts me on to so many things, guys. It's like, it's crazy. But this drink, unbelievable. If you guys have to take a picture or a screenshot, do that. That They sell them at H Marts. So if you live by H Mart, just look for this drink right here, guys. It's, it's, it's really good. It will change your life. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to like move 
back and then try to like exit this way because I think somebody's stuck or something. I don't know. Dude just came up to my truck and just told me. So I'm just gonna go this way then. Yeah, they're they're working on it or something. I'm just really mad because I came here for no reason, man. But I'm not I'm not surprised because it's because of what time it is. Oh my gosh, bro. Just don't be like these guys right here. Don't park like these guys park. These are not, this is not a spot. In the middle of the lot, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all see that? Like, that? those aren't parking spots, guys. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know that. That's why it seems so congested. It's because those people that are parked right in the middle of the, of the lot. They're not supposed to be parked there. And just like that, I'm back in Pennsylvania. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I swear, you gotta have a lot of patience to be a truck driver, man. I swear, man. The way people drive is just so, it just, it's so annoying. It makes no sense. And a lot of times people just drive like they're in a rush, but it, they, in reality, they really have nowhere to go. <laughs> like, they have no reason to rush. It's not like they have to, have to make a damn appointment or something like that. You know, like, slow down. You gonna get there, man. Sheesh. Uh, so we're back at square one. <laughs> Guys, today was literally a wasted day. I just drove for fun. <laughs> literally. You know, wasted day in the life of a truck driver. It's probably going to be the name of this video. Because literally all I did today was wake up, drive to a location to pick up this empty trailer, right? And just to drive back to where I started. It's literally, that's literally how today went. And I probably didn't even have to drive all the way to that location to pick up this empty trailer. I probably could have found one in the yard, bro. To be perfectly honest. But I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna go to the location they sent me to. You know, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna just give, get, just follow orders. But, I see how today went. <laughs> ah, man, man, man. Some days just aren't gonna be good. Well, I should do a mukbang video, guys. What do you guys think? Mukbang video for next video? I don't know. So I really want to talk about my experience with like trucking school and stuff. I feel like that would be a great, a great time to do a mug, uh, mukbang. doing here with that all that that wooden 
barrier. I don't know. Park this trailer up. Drive to the Bobtail parking location or parking area. Park there for the night. Shower. And then just chill. <laughs> I can low-key just park over here. I don't know. I usually don't like parking over there because the internet is very slow. Yeah, with this terminal, man, you gotta park with the bobtails. That's how you get the best reception. If you park anywhere else, you ain't gonna get no reception. Kinda of scared to leave my trailer here though. Mess around, leave my trailer here, come back tomorrow and it's gone. <laughs> this has happened to me a couple times. If I park it right here, I'll, I'll still be able to have uh, some type of connection. It's gonna be slow, but better than nothing. Hey guys, about to go hop in the shower because I'm feeling very, 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 very muggy right now. Today was a really nice day, a very nice day. It's getting, it's about that time. It's getting to that time. It's getting to that point, man, where you need to start wearing no sweat. Like you, it's getting to that point where it's fine to wear no sweaters. Like today, I legit was just outside in this long sleeve shirt, as you guys can see. 
and I was perfectly fine. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm looking forward to the nice weather. I really am. Thank you. Fresh and so clean, clean guys. Guys, the sky looks so beautiful. Oh, do you guys see this? This is a beautiful sight, man. Home sweet home. All right, guys. So tonight I've decided that I'm gonna eat some noodles. So these are the noodles I'm eating tonight. Yeah. You guys see the hot level, right? It's three out of six. So it's hot, but it ain't like too hot. You feel me? Like it's it's hot, but it ain't like gonna burn my mouth. You know.
Really good, guys. Really good. Man. Mm. This drink is good too. Uh, not my, my favorite flavor, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, guys, anyways, I'm about to eat this food. Then after I eat, I'm gonna go to sleep. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. I'm sorry today wasn't as good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, usually when I come back out from my home time, usually the days go by kind of weird and it doesn't go how I want it to go. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a lot better. And hopefully next vlog, you guys will actually see me get some loads done. Um, so yeah, and hopefully I go to some place that I haven't been to yet since I started vlogging. Like, hopefully they send me to like Ohio or something. They've sent me to Michigan one time. They sent me to Detroit, Michigan one time. And like, this was before I even started vlogging. So like, hopefully this time around they'll send me to Michigan. Okay, so yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.